Hey guys, I just want to make this a quick video talking about the HUD elements in the Dying Light 2 Nightmare Mode because I've been seeing some people complain about exactly what is present on the screen or lack thereof. The top three things I've seen getting talked about, people wanting them back on the screen, the game's time, your immunity status, and the XP gain. Techlane designed this game mode to be a difficult experience for those players that felt that they were too powerful and they wanted more of a challenge. And obviously, since it is more of a challenge, Techland designed the mode to also provide a greater XP gain, especially at night. This was obviously useful to gauge how much your gear was affecting this, how much you're actually getting from exactly what you're doing. In its current state in the nightmare mode, this is no longer present on the display, and I don't care about that for my own personal game, but I want to see what you guys think, so you can talk about that in the comments. Just to throw my own opinion out there, I don't care for it, I think it should stay out of something like a nightmare mode, but with the way that Dying Light 2 is designed, I can see why it would fit a lot more of the player base than maybe Techline might have originally thought. Now, as for the other two parts of the HUD that are no longer present in the nightmare mode, I would love to see some kind of a return of the immunity status as well as the game's time. Dying Light 1 actually had you look at your watch when it was turning to nighttime. There are sound cues to make this a little bit easier Easier, but for the most part, having a visual to accompany the sounds is a much better experience in games as a whole. And I think that since it was existing in the prior installment, players would appreciate having something of that sort. A popular suggestion that I would love to see in the game is to physically look at your wrist with the biomarker. Maybe it could be as simple as when you block, just using it because I know that the keybinds are already kind of convoluted in this game, especially on console. For example, having to double press a button just to drop kick when in the previous game you could just do it with one. I think that this discussion really boils down to the kind of player you are. Do you care about grinding a game to get the most XP, get the best gear, you want to know absolutely everything that's going on with how your stuff is affecting the game, how much damage you do, what you're gaining from what you do, or are you the kind of player that simply loves a hardcore experience, you don't care about what's on the screen? other than what's trying to kill you and how you're going to use the map to get away from those things. Right now, I don't think Techland will be making any quick changes to the way the nightmare mode is set up to be, and I think that's totally okay. This is one of the first updates in this game that I didn't think to myself, wow, they really ruined this, or they broke this. If you guys disagree or if there's anything that you think should be added to this mode, I would love to see your thoughts down in the comments. That's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. If you love Dying Light, to content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I want to hit 5,000 some point this year. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.